Hello, uh, hello, and welcome. See how many Boink. of these great slots that we can get done today. French fad number three, four, multiplayer. I know it still says start game. It'll fix itself. There we go. In a minute is what I was about to say there. Manually unpinned at the end of the stream. Chuck that sucker there, done. And then let me open a little local lobby here. Change online, local play, yep. Create a hall, yep. I did not do the smart boy move today and open all the stuff I need in Karanico preemptively. Let me just do that now. So bad. <laughs> Terrible. Bad streamer. Righty. Let's have a little look soon. It's also good just to get a mental recap as well for my own sake. Uh, we do need those Dire Blast Hearts. Part of the Dire Blast Heart is the head break, so I'm not going to worry about the hard fangs. I need that goddamn Immortal Reactor. Of course I do. Immortal Reactor. The Silver Raphalos stuff does not need to go into the list. I can remember that one. Same with the Devil Joes, same with the Kirin. It can happen at any point. Uh, large Elder Dragon Gems, I do need. Large Elder Dragon Gem. And then I need Deora Hard Horns. Heart horn. And then I think finally the other thing I need, which you can't see on here, is Contrary Scales. <laughs> Don't ask me what that face was. <laughs> it's my thinking face. <laughs> hello Ian, hello Sagano, hello Leo, enjoy your luck. Hello Jordan. It's a pleasure to see you all. I hope you're all doing good today. Hope you're ready for hunting. Oh. It applies to you as well as always, Jordan, because you are in this chat. So you are also likewise. That's not how lobbies work, Fredo. You're going to suffer on Terraria, yay, pain. <laughs> Have fun with that. Well, there's Kush, who I do happen to need. Give me those hard horns. Give me those large Elder Dragon gems. All will be well. gonna type to this person we do rotation lobbies so if you want to post will be after Sir Gando quest. today. Edinburgh awaits. <laughs> Karanico. I don't want to throw up that early in the morning. Calm down. <laughs> I've never been to Edinburgh. I'm sure it's lovely. I have three Joe Crooks, give you one. You know what the sad thing is, Sagando? I even got one of them on a quest with you. 
I got two of them on the same quest, and then I got one on the most recent quest with you. Not the most recent one, the first one we did together yesterday. Can't do it from the tail. I stole your crook, I'm so sorry. I don't even want them. I'm just greedy, I guess. Is that a mount? Is that not? Yes, it is. This area is laggy as hell. My mount got destroyed. Never mind. This, this is not the smoothest of experiences right now. I really don't want to fight this thing in that pit. It really is just like absolute death for me. Because I got to stand still and charge the greatsword the whole time and I just sink down the pit. Doesn't end well. Hey, this is the desert. Yep, this is the dunes. Why is it snowy? It's not, it's just nighttime. In this game, there actually is a difference between nighttime and daytime dunes. I think in GU there's only daytime dunes, right? know if there is a nighttime version of the map. I swear to god every time I throw a fucking flash bomb, man. It's snow now. I mean, it makes sense with Kashala here to a certain degree. I must admit. And it does get very fucking cold in the desert at night. I wonder if it could snow in deserts, actually. I'm sure it happens, right? They are they do get incredibly cold at night time, it just doesn't rain that much. If it just aligns correctly, it probably happens. Don't know if they reach freezing temperatures. They go below freezing, don't they, deserts? At nighttime? That was my understanding. The one key thing about deserts, if you're not prepared correctly, you can both freeze to death and boil to death. Because there's absolutely no insulation on anything at all. Because it's just flat. <laughs> so, nothing helps keep you warm, right? Once the sun's gone. Largest desert on Earth, Antarctica. Okay, well, ig ignoring Antarctica. <laughs> the literal ice continent. I'm thinking like, you know, Sahara. Stuff like that. <laughs> I did not know that Antarctica was temp technically a desert, though. That's kind of cool. Hello, Iron. Risk of Rain is returns is savage. I mean, Risk of Rain is always savage, so yeah, good. It's deserted.
That's not true. People live in Antarctica. Hello, Nixel. Welcome. I will stream for you for six hours today. And I've just started. So plenty more time. And then I will switch to world. For a further six hours. New Providence trial. Think of the children. The enemy type. Safely guide at least five children to the teleporter. That sucks. Walk them over meters of acid. Punch them over cliffs. Yep. That one seems like it would be really annoying. Snow has been recorded several times in the Sahara over the last decades, most recently in January 2022. Cool. I knew there was some logic to it. Awesome. Maybe it is snow, Sahara. Who knows? Actually nice. You could scoop up, scoop up the snow and the sand beneath. It'd be really interesting. It would be really interesting, yeah. Hello, Phil. Welcome. You heard when you poison him in the older games, he can't cast tornadoes anymore. I think he can still cast tornadoes, but he can't go into Black Wind in the older games. So he's got like two different wind barriers, Black Wind and Normal Wind. I think that exists in almost all of the games. But Black Wind in the old games is what makes you take that like right now. It's what makes you take those like bi these big staggers that knock you on your ass just by standing near him. If you poison him, he cannot do that. I don't know about other stuff, though. He can't cast a giant black tornado when poisoned? Yeah, but that's just because he can't go into black wind mode at all. Can he cast the normal white tornado? The big white tornado? He does that one a lot less, but he does have one. Have you been in that situation, by the way, sir? Just the way you said that, or were you just imagining it in your mind? The sand underneath the stove. Welcome, Moth, as well, by the way. Good to see you. been to snowy beaches in your childhood cool very cool i must say i've never had the pleasure so that's that's really neat kashala please That should hit. Nice one. God damn fucking Kushala, man. None of those hit the tail. This monster. That's what you get for not paying the poison tax, to be fair. You think with your fresh G3 permit, you'll join the lobby later? But a little later? Sure. Absolutely, next door. Hey. 
was mein Zeug. I didn't think that one was gonna work, I just thought I'd go for it. Yeah, I don't know if he can still do that while he's poisoned. Because in theory, he sh If the poison blocks his tornadoes, then he can't do it. If the poison just blocks the big black tornado, that's just because he can't go into black mode, right? Be interesting to see. Because not having that move is a massive benefit. Even more so to poisoning him. Tiny near it, it would have worked, yeah. I just don't think I had time to move. <laughs> no. Oh. I'm by myself though. Hey. Also, that might have been a Citra disconnect. Literally, everyone just left the lobby at the exact same time. Got a call yesterday, you actually meant to write how you missed the quick zero sum discharge after playing GU for so long. <laughs> There's a quick zero sum discharge from GU. I swear those things just go for the end of the world. Icky yucky worky clothes. At least to some degree, Mace, the, like, transitive property of knowing that they are work clothes, right? It means the badness is on the work clothes themselves, not on, uh, not on just clothes in general. You don't end up ruining any clothes you actually like. You have nothing G3 related, no weapons or armor, and one G3 monster to kill. Doesn't matter, really, does it? My armor's from G2. I'm sensing a pattern from yesterday, was that Summers? Pressing XA twice and G with the shield, you can charge the shield? Yeah, you can do that in world as well. love to join as well but your hr too <laughs> yeah you're a little bit lower than i am you can't use the vials that way how it works in world for you. Can't use the vials? Not sure I'm with you. Is it attacking with them? Yeah, that's because the GU shield has reduced functionality, though. That's why. Because <laughs> you don't get to do the stuff that you get to do in World of the GU. Oh! Thank you for the bits he's Thank you. 
Does more give you a second? You know, you can do it in higher amounts. <laughs> I appreciate it. You don't have to do God knows how many ones. <laughs> uh. Why is my sharpness so green it bothers you? Because that's the Akantil broadsword? That's the highest it has? The next highest is 100? Isn't there 5 and 10? Hey, thank you. To the bitsies. Appreciate it. Not here? What do you mean, not here? The fuck? That's weird. World was mean to you yesterday, now Dragon Age, yeah. Just not launching is really annoying. Of like all the things that it's doing as well, just straight up not launching is incredibly bloody annoying. Are we giving Huggy money? You no! Saved up all of your Google survey money. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's actually kind of precious. Thank you. <laughs> That's very sweet. You see my fellow hunters ditch me again? They didn't ditch me as much as I think Citra decided to punt them all out of the lobby. Considering literally everyone left the lobby at exactly the same moment. We killed at the same time. Hey, nice. You saw rushed at Kush weapons and Urg, why? What, in the sense that they're kind of like not very good, Nixel? They're interesting, though. The pinky and that was an experience. When world glitches out, it's always an experience. Because, uh... It don't happen much. completely useless. Now it's worth it. Thank you, game. Good shit. Probably the first time you've had an actual game-breaking glitch. Yep. I'm rich now. <laughs> it's so much money, base. <laughs> 95p, my man? Holy shit. I can go in <laughs> a month and a half's time when Twitch pays me. And I can buy myself a hot dog. Not a hot dog, sorry. A, a sausage roll. That's what I'm looking for. Mmm. Mmm. Sausage motherfucking roll, man. The fact you can still see the tail is in the coral dead zone. Suspended in midair, yeah. Your quest, Sagando? 95p worth of your personal info? I mean, I appreciate it. It's incredibly kind. Pigs in blankets? Oh. Oh. Don't you make me salivate. I would kill people for things in blankets. Little the fuckers are delicious, man. Woo. Woo. Oh, you just you have a hunt devil show. Nice. Call me pain because all I tell Google is nice. I don't know. 
if I ever want to call anyone P, to be honest. <laughs> it's the one I gave you. Oh, does it level down? I didn't know it down leveled when you gave quests away. It does that? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hubby made money by pretending to be a freshly married couple talking about appliances he'd love to buy three years ago. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very good. Maybe if it's an apex level, it downgrades. That might be good funkin'. Yeah. That might be good funkin'. Dragon Age honestly might have the most unintuitive way of resetting merchants. How does it do it? Please don't tell me it's on game restart. Because that's not necessarily unintuitive, but it's just dumb as hell. <laughs> that and advancing time on your system. Oh. That's so bad. Why on earth would they think that that was a good idea? When did Dragon Age Inquisition come out? Like, it's recent, right, as well. Like, it's not really that old. Hey, can you throw out some sentences of explanation about this area? Um, this is the Everwood. It's an area where, for some reason, as far as the game's concerned, <laughs> it's essentially a mini roguelike area. There's different biomes and stuff that all get like linked together, and it tends to be changing a lot of the time. And there is monsters in here that are not normally appreciable, or findable, I should say, in the surrounding biomes. Ooh! Mace the Gifty! Thank you, Mace. Have some hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I <laughs> had more Google survey money. <laughs> Uh. So you can find stuff like Velocidrome, um, Yanguruga, Kirin, Oroshi Kirin, all of those can be found in here, but aren't really findable anywhere else in this area. Oh, well, shit. Gotta go to work now, goodbye. Have fun, base. Do you want to give this one another try from the top, Sagando? We both quit out of this quest. Yep. Cool. Find special stuff in here, yes. There's like a few ores that you can only really get in here as well and all that stuff. You remember now why you didn't join multi? What do you mean? It works so well. <laughs> <sighs> Weird because your internet didn't disconnect. Yeah, that was a sin for that one. Seven years ago, not recent, not ancient. Yeah, I'm willing to give a little bit of leeway on that one. Yesterday you got a Garuga guild quest. You think you'll farm it for a status build? Or said Ruby Baserius, but you don't know what to do with it. Fair enough. What a guild quest? You know how anomaly investigations work in Monster Hunter Rise? 
it's essentially that, but without any of the anomaly stuff attached to it. Like, it's just you do the quest, the quest levels up, it gets a little bit harder. And it's still the same monster. Except the the Everwood on those quests is in a set locale. So you'll always have the same map. Like it'll always be the same Everwood map. And it can go all the way up to level 140. And when it gets to that high of a level, that's how you get the really good shit. Really, really good relics. Really good decorations. Uh, necklaces, whatever they're called. The really, really good ones. Charms. That's it. Thank you. Talismans. That's the word I was looking for. But, but by the time you get them to level 140... Um, if they can Frenzy, they will have been doing it for a long time. If they can Apex, they will be Apexing every quest. Um, it's just really fucking difficult. Chaotic Gormagala is the only creature I've ever soloed at 140. And I was using Jewel Blades, and I was using, like, Fire Jewel Blades or something, like, actually strong against him, and it took me 35 minutes. I think it was, it was a long quest. So at that point, the, you know, semi unreasonable to do. It's an end game thing. Yeah, it's it's a post game thing. It is equivalent to like the anomaly investigations where there's no need to do it whatsoever other than just Because you want to deal with the, like, hard shit or get the absolute pinnacle of stuff you can obtain in the game. That you 100% don't need. Also, in this game, you thought drop rates were bad in other games. Your chance of getting a god relic. One of the ones that has, like, perfect stats across the board and is, like, the best possible weapon. Is, like, one in several thousand. I think Sagando's got again. I guess we're doing this one solo. <laughs> you can try going into one of the other lobbies after this, Sagando. I just do want to actually do a hunt at the moment. Yeah, um, so those quests level up all the way from low rank. They have, like, they're, as far as I'm aware, mostly split into, like, three stages of difficulty. you got, like, low, low rank, mid, low rank, and then high, low rank. Then low, mid, and high, high rank. Then you have, like, early G. Then you have... Not necessarily early G, but you have whenever the quest would unlock in G rank. Then it goes up to like 126 or so. And it becomes incredibly fucking difficult. Until like 132? 134? And at that point, it becomes, why the fuck are you even doing this anymore? Other than torturing yourself. <laughs> difficult but that's when you get the good shit health and attack also increase with levels yep you think calamity had an item drop chance of one in a hundred thousand Calamity is actually, like, 100% designed to be fucking miserable, though, right? That's the point of Terraria Calamity. Do 
you made it worse? How? How? <laughs> oh, isn't there like an Armageddon mode or something as well? I am scared shitless of drawing that challenge run at some point, by the way. Infernum and Eternity mode? I have no idea what either of those mean. Are those both inside of Calamity or are they additional mods? Terraria has such a weird community, man. <laughs> it's, it's, I love Terraria. Of all the types of community I expected for that game to get, like, rip my balls off is not the one I would have expected for it. But it's it's one of the ones it got. You know, the map builders, the people making pretty mod, like pretty designs and all of that stuff. Absolutely. The difficulty peeps for Terraria? Not expected. I suppose as soon as they added the wings and stuff, it actually has a very high skill ceiling. Infernum, Infernum is... DLC? What do you mean DLC? Can't have DLC for a mod. <laughs> it's truly not. It's just addition. It's another mod. You got three mods on. Add-on for Calamity, yeah. Okay, so it's just another mod. Technically, every mod is DLC, so... That is a confusing way to put that. To get this fucker's face broken. If I can. Oh, I need to go through the, the thingy tomorrow. Someone remind me tomorrow before the stream. <laughs> Randomly on Discord at some point to go through the icebox and do it. If I haven't already. I keep forgetting to do it. I was gonna do it this morning, but then I got distracted by my pizza. Because I get the feeling. I don't know, right? I get the feeling that for you might end this month. <laughs> I'm hoping it does, anyway. Boss right now does between 50 and 100 damage. I mean, that's relatively normal, isn't it? A hundred's on the high end, but like 50 to 75 is pretty normal in my mind to like boss boss damage if you are on expert mode with not perfect armor or if you were on master mode just a tool but for the second boss in pretty hard mode I don't know if you got hit by the devourer's head in master mode and you had 20 events? I could see that doing 50 damage pretty reasonably. Personally, at least. <laughs> 
Devourer? The, the Eater of Worlds? What's the big... What's the normal version of the big snake boat? <laughs> it's the Eater of Worlds, hey. Like... No, I'm not talking about Calamity. I don't know anything about Calamity. All I know about Calamity is it's just there if you want to suffer. And I have to play it at some point because Dawn redeemed it. And the ice box. I don't know what the hell a desert scourge is. That ain't real. Don't tell me stuff about Calamity, please, Leo. I want to experience it for myself when I get there. Now that I am going to get there at some point. Because I don't know if you have to look up shit for that game, but I'm going to try and experience as much of this stuff as I can without staring at a wiki page. Which might prove impossible, but hey. to stay in the Citra lobby this entire time, Sagado, so I'm feeling like it is just the lobby we're in. Maybe we should give one of the LGN ones a go. I think that counted. I did get the trade there. Mostly just annoyed about the fact that I got hit by his mouth so many times when he was hungry there. I also do actually want to kill this guy. Sagando needs capture for um, crook chance. But I actually need killing for the teeth chance. That's why I didn't just peace out this quest straight away. Is still helpful for me. <sighs> I'm just... He's one of the last ones, man. I really feel like he's the last one that I've got here that's sort of easy-ish. Kirin isn't that difficult, but it's just really time-consuming because the amount of horns I need. Same thing is true with Orochi. Large Elder Dragon Gems dominate a large portion of the rest of the weapons I need left. Two dire blast hearts. I'm so close to the end of this challenge. But I also feel like I'm so far away from any actual, like, tasteable victory. The amount of lower rarity horns Kieran will drop. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I'm worried about. Honestly. The sheer amount of high rank horn drops I'm gonna get. Silver Raphalos is a relatively easy one that I've got left. But even then, like, Silver Raphalos... He's just never going to give me his damn tails. That's how it always works, right? Every time I play this game, 
and I need Raphalos Tails. Just don't happen. Enough who wants to feed the entire village of Rajax. I've already got that. But a low rank hordes I got from doing high rank, Kirin. That was gonna hit me up there. Can I get away with this? Yeah, I am. Cool. I don't need to care about Dragonflight. This is one of the only weapons that actually has no element, even with Awaken. Pickle, 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 pickle. Hard fangs. I think I only need two more. And then I'm good. Pickle, pickle, pickle. I would love to get those from this quest because I've not had good luck with hard fangs from the last few quests. Another completed weapon. As soon as I get the weapons down to double, double digits, so I, uh, single digits, sorry, I am going to be, hopefully, just, like, incredibly invigorated. Because <laughs> it's so few left at that point. It's just like, yes! Over there! Right. Of course, that's, you know, Dire Blast Heart, Immortal Reactor, Large Out of Dragon Gems. They're still there. Fresh and present in my mind. In a Dual Blade Collector's Challenge for me to heal. Free you is a valid option for a run to be picked at any point. Technically, there is a Free you Charge Blade Collector's Challenge. Uh, Dual Blade Collector's Challenge, sorry. Free you charge by the collector challenge literally isn't possible. It could happen. Hell, there's a portable third dual blade one. I'm so sick of healing this fan. God damn it. Other than that, there's no valid games anymore, right? I'm playing world. I would have just played for you. I should finish this challenge before I feel to finish the world one. I really hope so. Oh god, the bathhouse. Oh, I just remembered that Portable Fern's going to be a massive pain in the ass because of all the honey and stuff. Is the Ramatsu dual blades? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. There probably is, right? GU there is. Oh. That's gonna suck. I 
recommend a clean save safety the emulated games. Let's see, do the challenge, I'll gather honey for five hours. Oh no, I'll be able to get the honey. It's just the um the way that the farm works in that game, right? Is is annoying. What do you mean clean save state, by the way? Like it just has infinite resources. No weapons or any of that stuff. That's the basic ones, right? I'm sure it won't be that bad. There's not that many portable fair challenge drops in there either, so. I think there's only four and no more can happen. Honestly, the only thing that's kind of bad about having to potentially play portable fern again is that I have to deal with the cursed flooded forest <laughs> and cursed Moga woods. <laughs> the water areas just cut the fuck out. Can you stop making the game lag? Also die, please. How many blades there is in Force Preferred? Dual blades specifically. I'm gonna have no resources to look that up. Well, shit. Uh, I hope there is a good website for that. Actually, a good FA uh, game facts that has every single possible dual blade. That might be an issue. I did not consider that. we can always find out as we go along. <laughs> I mean, do you know of a resource, Eugene? Because I'm more than happy to do it myself. I don't want to take someone else's time for that. Because I mean a list like the one that I've got for, um, for this, before you. Where it's like every path where it roughly upgrades, how I can upgrade into it, like all of everything, right? It took me like an hour and a half, I don't want to make someone do that for me. I always forget Portable Fair doesn't have any resources. a really unfortunate miss. That would have been great. I 
I honestly thought that I would be quicker at this pickle. Not because I expect myself to be like fantastic at yelling pickle or anything, but instead of thinking he'd be as tanky as he is. Considering how quickly we've killed some of the other ones in multiplayer. Citra lagging as well. What is going on today? At least that made me do entirely solo for you for six hours, Citra. By the way. Devastating to get one weapon done, and that's it. If I'm lucky. That was a toughie. This devil show just refuses to, like, let me hit him. <laughs> Which, to be fair, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I can't hit him at all. He is being a toughie. Good. For a level 120, that's so much health. Honestly, yeah. It's so damn tanky. People out there doing double 140 devil shows completely solo. And I just don't understand how. He's still alive. Oh my god. Angry again. Not surprisingly. No, that's hit me. That took too long for one pickle. Oof. Not a single fact from Calm School. <laughs> Thank you, Devil Joe. Yeah, um, do you want to try Kex number seven? Segundo? Let me just unpin this. I'm gonna do a Kex 
number seven for Moti. Give that one a pin instead. Just hope that it works. At most, I've got one fang and that's it, which is so fucked. Not even a fang. Why? Man? Oh, damn it. idea to do this when we're changing the lobby as well. The keg save with you hosting? That I remember, yeah. I remember that distinctly in for you. Level show hard thing. It's 11% on a body count, so fair enough. Not great for me. It's a 65% on the head break. 50% that you get one and 15% that you get two. <laughs> Why? Well, how do I keep failing it? It's even a 10% in all of the quest rewards on 116 to 125. Just incredibly unlucky, I guess. Because I keep saying Devil Show is the last relatively easy one. And then he's like, fuck no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to make this a living hell for you, you son of a bitch. the level influence drop rates for certain items it does but for devil show it was 116 and up was all 10 percent for fangs in the normal quest rewards it's just the problem with guild quests is you don't get a lot of normal quest rewards unfortunately so because i'm relying on a guild quest Shite chances, right? Two more hard horns. And I don't know how many more large other dragon gems. Uh, one for the Kashala. Oh, three more. I think. One for Kashala, one for Kajulu. And then one for each of the. Fatalis. Imagine relying on expeditions for materials instead. Yeah. <laughs> you only do that if you actually decide that you want to torture yourself, I. Because no one who is sane would do that to themselves at all. Do I have the Molten Heart yet? The Molten Heart? You mean, do I have one of the two? No. I don't have either of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. I guess I'm not important. Tiggy also needs King for the Nuts. Yeah, the thing with Tiggy is his quest is available at all times. You always have access to Molten Tigrex. So I'd rather delay his materials. And get stuff like the Kashala Hardhorns, because Kashala isn't always available, right?
Neville Show is just a very convenient side quest at the moment, because both me and Sagando need it. So it's like, oh yeah, we're killing Neville Show, how convenient. Same thing if Komaro joins in today as again as well. Komaro needs Raging Brachidios, Kirin, and Oroshi Kirin, so all of which I need, and it's like, oh, it's, how nice. These fangs are always a pain, yeah, they are, unfortunately. Which really sucks when they make you need six of them for one weapon. feel like I should give my absolute heart most thanks to subquest rewards right now by the way they've been hooking me up recently subquest rewards the large elder dragon gem came from it just now water on dragon spires and stuff pretty nice Saying a hyper scales, but you're guaranteed at least one from each quest, yeah. The hyper materials suck to get. I really don't understand why you aren't just guaranteed hyper cubs. Like, if you kill the hyper monster, your carbs should give you the hyper materials. And then it also have press rewards as well. Instead of carbs just giving you normal monster materials. But hey. Gotta make the grind longer, right? Question mark, question mark, then the lobby. Ominous. They don't want you to cheese the materials to actually kill the whole thing? Yeah. Fucky boy, <laughs> bad person. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Playing some four U's a good time. I'm going to be playing World later, which is a great time. Love the hell out of both of those games, right? Happy days for me in that regard. I am doing good. Conquest here was a sub cross reward as well. Actually, how far am I in GU? GU runs done. We ended it at high rank. I basically just played once had a jet. <laughs> I didn't use Alchemy, I didn't use Valor. I went to Narcos. Think about joining the next time. I'm probably never gonna play Generations on stream again. Is the is the truth of things.
Not never, but like very, very rarely. Played a lot of it, yeah. It's not even, like playing a lot of it isn't necessarily the problem for me. I like to be just like be able to be truthful about how I'm feeling when I'm playing a game. And if I see something that's fucked up or I'm feeling something that I feel like is wrong, I want to point it out, right? Same thing when I play Rise. When I play World, when I play For You, I, I do it for everything. But like with Rise, with GU, I apparently I critique them too much and people get annoyed. someone else's experience worse as well, right? Oh, I just wait. You like Narcos to fight now you mentioned him? I love Narcos. Narcos is fantastic. I really like the idea with his like little changey for me snake head things as a mechanic. That's just neat. His whole like mu music and okay. All oh, right, yeah, they that slaps you away in this game. Shouldn't have gone near the head. Big laser beams, cool. The area changing colors and the thematics of his music and stuff is just so, like, actually genuinely ominous. It's really good. Sorry, it's okay. I forgot that, that was a thing. You put a hold on GU. Wasn't feeling it last time we played. You had a very bad experience with Hellblade Glavinus as well, if I recall right. With Lance. To the point of like I never want to, I will never fight this creature ever again. Let's get more ammo is also cool. Change the approach, yeah. It does. I've been annoyed the hell out of you. <laughs> hey, Celeste. I'm going to be playing Celeste tomorrow, actually. That just occurred to me. Hey. I hope I enjoyed that. You get it? Since you got to hyper farming, you're not too fond of playing it as much anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ein. I, I don't know if you want to, like, give me another game since I didn't really do Disco Elysium. Properly. Because, like, I played one day of Disco Elysium and then the game chat itself and died on me. And I just can't play it anymore. So. I feel like I've kind of scammed you out of your game requests. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. 
you think some things up? No rush, right? <laughs> you got plenty of time. This girl easy and died on me. I played the entirety of the second day and the game did not save a single time. And then at the end of the day, the game did not progress to day three. You've already put Dave the Diver in the queue, Crone. <laughs> I'm not playing it twice. <laughs> Play it twice, fucker? No. Speed runs? I can't do I can't commit to speedruns of a game that I don't know if I'm even gonna like. Just see Devil Joe posted and then say sorry and then quit. Because that's amazing. Speed on every game ever made. No, I'm okay, thanks. They were G1 though, so it's fair, yeah. True. You really hope I like it? It's so silly. We'll see. We will see. When is Dave the Diver? I got Celesti, then Tunic, then Thumper, then 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. <laughs> this title is longer. Then uh, Dave the Diver. Five games. I mean, you can chain... Well, actually, no, you can't really change your slots out because I've already paid for the games. <laughs> I've already bought them. Thank you, Hero Truck Simulator. That would be incredibly boring to watch, I think. Breath of the Wild 100%? Fuck that. Isn't that like 20 hours long if you're actually crazy good at it? You have a year long friend called Dave? Is he a diver? <laughs> he was. <gasps> that is identity stolen. I think that actually genuinely just ate my mouth for no reason. I can't hit the tail unless he's on the floor, so. 
This one's too tall. Kinda needed that mount. Get Sagando's crook. No society of a suspect pixel game, so David Divers in the back of your head, yep. Go take a nap. You went to sleep at four in the morning. Jesus Christ, bro. Have a nice nap. I do. I also have a bit of a soft spot for very nice pixel art, not gonna lie. So I am looking forward to it. Zenoga? Sure thing. My Zenoga weapon is max now, which makes it particularly nice. That was such a terrible mount. It's on the wrong side of his body. Stygian, thank you. And then Launce in World, thank you. Glad the 4U Greatsword Q is getting a little bit more built up again, because it was running low before. At one point it was on the last weapon. Now we're back up to 4 again. Your pixel love made you play Grave Keeper immediately. Did you have fun with that game? I own it through the transitive property of Steam family sharing. At the moment. And it's one of the many things I've been meaning to play in my spare time. And I just haven't. To a certain extent, yes. What does that mean? Gog, if I have it? Oh, I have it. It's maxed out. Thank you. One of my favorite great swords in this game. More than happy to use that one. Was a bit ago, let you think through it, sure thing. It looks so cool, yeah. I also just love that it's got sleep on it, honestly. Sleep great swords make me happy. I missed every single attack on that knockdown. I'm gonna come back for this later, I don't wanna waste my Y stone. He says as he runs the wrong fucking direction, never mind, it'll be gone by the time I get there. Cats with the tail cut. Oh, did they get it? Nice. I always find the desert area so confusing in this. <laughs> there it is. Now I just got to deal with him while he's frenzied. Nice one. Good job. It is good when you f when you like to manage a lot and not just do what you feel like. Right, okay. You've got to be in the right mood for playing it. It's not one of the ones you can just pick up every, like whenever you want, just do a little bit here and there now and then. It's it's sort of like a Stardew Valley if you're trying to go for all the achievements where you feel like, right, I need to 
make sure that I do all of this with all of these people and then also like I need to catch all the fish available in this season and I need to get X resources by X point. It's like satisfactory but old style. Factorio! <laughs> I really feel like I should play Factorio at some point, man. I just get the feeling it's not going to be as, like... ...friendly as Satisfactory is, in terms of explaining itself. Satisfactory's UI is, like, fucking astonishingly good. It's so good. Again, would you pick anything else? No, now fuck the monsters. I'm happy to use hammer. Hammer's good fun. World, most of most of the weapons in world are good fun, honestly. Really need this cut food to just go to hell. Stay there. When playing Stardew did not feel that way. If if you're specifically going for all achievements, Eugene. It's, it's, I, I did lead with that, but you might not have caught it. If you're playing Stardew through normally, it's a lovely, chill, just like, do whatever you want, whatever you want, casual game. When, when I play that game and I have the want to go for all achievements, it's so fucking stressful. I can't just like play it how I want to. Every morning it's like get the TV done, make friends for everyone as quickly as possible so you don't have to waste time on it anymore. Get your crops done, deal with the fact that you're out of energy. When you just play it normally, it's like the chillest shit in the world. <laughs> it's like, what do I want to do today? Maybe I'll go fishing. I don't know. Oh, a shiny. Let me go put that in the museum. Just take your time with it, right? Go for 100% achievements. I imagine I'm doing mine. It's 120 by day four. It feels like it sometimes, honestly. I did actually have a, a question, Eugene, about this, the Terraria run that you put in. I assume f does fishing count as a drop? It's like, sort of isn't, right? I would say no in my mind. Oh. I'm done and I carved Sagando's crook again, I'm sorry. Hey, you got 
one as well. We're both done at the same time, Sagando. Hey! Woo! <laughs> oh, thank fuck, man. We're done. No more Devil Show. <laughs> the pain? Yeah, I know. Hello, Ramhard. Welcome. The overall will include crates as well, but you say no regarding your request. Cool. Oh no. I'm so... Oh, I don't have to... I can't fish, Eugene. Oh, but I love fishing in Stardew so much. Stardew? Va um, Terraria, sorry. I actually do like fishing in Stardew, to be fair. I did indeed, Sagando. Do man shrunting. Done. Get out of here. Another weapon gone. Fan fucking tastic. Mark that sucker as green. <laughs> Thank you, Ramad. <laughs> the immediate redeem. <laughs> I like that that's happening at this point. Every time I get a weapon, it gets immediately put into the queue. <laughs> Well, other than Camellios, I don't have anything on rotation, so. I believe Molten Tigrex is the most important thing that I need to work on next. in general is allowed, just not the weapons, armors, and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sell them is fine but you don't think you need to add it i mean like selling them seems like almost kind of pointless anyway right at least in my mind it does what are you gonna buy torches <laughs> good for forging that's true i suppose yeah i feel like with the amount of shit you gotta kill to get all those drops like it's gonna be fine anyway though right especially when you get to hard mode if you're hunting mimics for weapons you're probably good on money unless you get really lucky Uh, tail cut head break, please. It feels so bad attacking his head when he's not in. 
anger one or anger two. I feel so bad. Graham speedruns it. Thought about my challenge to be a classic play for it. Yeah, I can't. I can't speedrun Terraria. I'm not that good. I am not that good. Or is that the only game where you consider it? I think Terraria would be too luck reliant for me, personally. For a speedrunning sense, too much RNG. Boss is set order be the category you like the most because that's what you're doing all the time. <laughs> when do they do fish run in that order? Heads wounded, nice. So just tail and one arm is left. the goal. That makes sense. Why only one arm? Because we already broke one. One arm left. We already broke one of the arms, so I broke that one really early on. Also, you actually only need to technically break one of his arms for rewards, so not important to actually do the other one. It's just for the sake of making the fight a little bit nicer. That really slow turn fucked me over big time. Dragon Quest was mean to you? Why? What'd it do? There's the tail. Happy days. Now we just need to win. And this will make winning easier. The two trials at the end it asks you if you wanted something. And the choice is whether stuff like super OP weapon figured it's a bait and said you don't want any reward. Turns out those rewards are real. Really good at any other trials too hard so you won't ever get it. No. Can you redo it or do you only get the reward once? Wasted two rewards. <laughs> the game was testing you. <laughs> Is it also like compounded horror in the sense that if you took the rewards, you would have been strong enough to do the other trials? Can we do it, but the difficulty goes up hard. Okay, that sucks. 
That's so funny. <laughs> what does Dragon Quest play like? No, just in general, like, what does the game play like? I don't... Is it, like... You know, Octopath Traveler, basically? But the old Final Fantasy games, like, very... You know, flat... 2D turn-based combat stuff. Has a very nice soundtrack. Oh, Yuji. Don't say the exact thing I need to hear to tempt me. <laughs> it's amazing storyline. Classic JRPG without all the extra shit. <laughs> Equipment, skills, and skill points done. Fair enough. I assume you have like a full party, it's not just like your one character. Love it. I have it in my list of games to try out at some point. But it's just in there, like, sitting. Not sure what to do. Get lots of pipe members, you can swap them out. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna run to real quick. Beat out back.
I don't know why you're panicking. I've got a whole half minute left. I got so much time. Hello, Shizzle. Hello? Have I seen you today? Not sure. Hello, anyway. What do you need from Sharp? Pretty much as you would expect it, fair enough. Tails and claws. Okie dokie. Just came in for the day. So yeah, good morning. Good morning. Hello? <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Zero. Look, I've come back and I've had 10 seconds left on those rewards before and I've still got all of them. It's not a big deal. It's absolutely fine. I've never missed them. You guys have no faith in me. What's the one you're playing at the moment? Sir? Like eleven, right? Okay. You already have faith when I lift that shard, the lavender of my pinky. <laughs> I actually really like Shah's music, man. Ah. Never know what catastrophic events might befall you when the timer ticks down. Hurt <laughs> your toe, which paralyzes me for the remaining 20 seconds. <laughs> That's a lot of toe pain to paralyze me for 20 seconds. never know. I'm pretty sure I know that I'm not going to hurt my toes so bad that I get paralyzed. <laughs> I just fell off. I just straight fell off. I mean, we don't need the back break anyway because claws and tail is what's needed, so it's not a big deal. I really wish I could just buy games whenever I want, man. That'd be so nice. Ba -ba -da -da. Spill some fizzy drink, which you have to clean, or else it becomes sticky. I don't have any fizzy drink in this house. Chisel. You have to calculate everything. No. <laughs> All I did was go to the loo. You know, I also didn't calculate when I went to the loo. The fact that I might fucking herniate myself pooping. Like... 
Because that's not a consideration that needs to be made. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have an aneurysm and die on the toilet. Like, I don't want to think about that, right? I get stuck in the toilet? Yeah, maybe I'll fall in. What if I fall asleep? <laughs> then I'll get a good night's rest. <laughs> Possible lightning strike. Yeah, exactly. Seat sucker back to you when I can't stand up. I'm pretty sure that would rip out all of my insides through my anus. Once again, I've got bigger problems. blessing. Please stop it. Imagine the lavender turns. <laughs> They're called mountains. <laughs> defense parts. <laughs> she needs the weight. Fuck. I didn't expect that to happen that quickly, my bad. Can you mine a big snake? No. He drops mining points on the map, but you can't mine him. <laughs> you have a screenshot where you've leveled? I can tell you what's been leveled, Chisel. Damage. Because <laughs> I saw it happening in real time. I gave a few recommendations early on of like, you know, a little bit more stamina might be good. Getting some more health might be a good idea. And then after the point where I want, you feel like you're kind of good on stats now. <laughs> it just, every single point went into motivity for damage. The rest is damage. You need some weight though now, right? Like it would actually be legitimately a good idea to get some weight though. your loadout reset your level leveled only enough weight until you wasn't heavy anymore with the current loadout oh okay fair enough do you know the soft cap for level i do indeed i don't know if sarah wants to know <laughs> Tell you, for damage it's 40. And then you get massively diminishing returns for every level after that. To 
to the massively diminishing returns to the point where I had an A scaling and a D scaling. And I got the same amount of damage regardless of which one I leveled up anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Eugene. A lambda. You can switch your motivity amulet out. Keep it on for the memes. <laughs> Fuck efficiency. Yeah, you've got satisfactory for efficiency. Lies of P isn't about efficiency. It's about having the highest damage stat when you win the game. <laughs> level damage no matter how much it gives. Yes! More damage. More damage. Don't think that applies to the boss. I don't know if it does apply to that boss, because I don't know if that boss is a carcass. Actually, I don't know what it would be, but... Oh, you can mine that. Speaking of the things that you can mine, Eugene, that's what you can mine. Right there. When he drops these rocks. blood is red, then yeah. I don't know if it would count as one. It's going to die with or without the amulet, yeah. I, I think me and Sara are very similar in this regard, Chisel, in which we're both incredibly just awkward. <laughs> you can tell us it will be more efficient to do it, but we're going to do what the fuck we want to do regardless. Even if it's just pure out of like stubborn, stubborn pride from the fact that we said we would do it that way, we're just gonna keep doing it that way. Don't want the game to be too easy, yeah. I feel like I might have fucked myself over on that one. Hey, Australian. The Lambda is so cool, we're probably never seeing it again. I mean, it's going to be in... World, but with a mod, right? Weren't they modding the Lambda into World, the Resurgence team? Can't remember if that's actually happening or not. Hello. Simply Rome, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the beginning of the end here of this for you save file. Because holy crap, it's gone on a long time.
I, like, I kind of get the, like, man, we're never going to see it again. It's kind of a bummer, but, like, also at the same time, we got the Lambda in 4U. That's good enough, right? It's still in 4U. It's still cool here. We still get to fight it. It's not like it will be removed from 4U, right? You don't want a darkest dungeon no more. Stupid decisions two weeks in a row got you on a new timeline. <laughs> darkest dark dungeon finally punish you for all the dumb shit that you pull constantly. stuff up isn't how you usually play yeah. same here what level are you by the way sorry two deaths prior because your super has decided to resolve zero one and one two all unupgraded without proper kit or enough to challenge the shambler yeah that's really dumb Round 70? Oh yeah, of course, you haven't got any further, have you? Sorry. In my mind, you you play the game like every single day. <laughs> Relentlessly. But that's not what happens at all. You haven't played it for a few days at this point, right? You got another death with two more to go because they're at zero health. 200 stress when you retreat from combat. Ouch. Play in the evenings and yesterday was world, yeah. Which means you can't play it today either. Or tomorrow because of Celeste. Or on Tuesday because of Gotti. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, true. I don't mind playing God of God mode. Because it doesn't make a difference to the game. The only thing I don't get is Steam achievements. <laughs> I do actually want the Steam achievements for Celeste, to be honest. I've won the achievements in Taiwan other games. Yep. Especially Celeste, because... As soon as I mentioned Celeste the other day... Two or three people in chat immediately went, Oh, Celeste is hard. And now my brain is like, is it though? <laughs> I don't play platformers, but is it? <laughs> Which is probably a bad thing. <laughs> Everybody say 50 quid, yeah. Pretty helpful. People talking about some walls and lies of P, don't know what they're on about. 
I mean, honestly, same, man. I never feel like I got walled in Light of P. Light of P, Lies of P. Like, I had a struggle here and there every now and then, but like, light walls? you got warders when a robot slammed his two shields into your face literally yeah yeah you did struggle with that guy quite a lot it's hard sounds like dark souls yeah the dark souls of platforming is what they call celeste <laughs> yeah. it wants to put you back in your fucking play sign You've been abusing the shit out of it for the last god knows how long. It wants you to fucking suffer. Yeah, that looks perfect, UG. Wonderful. Thank you. That looks real good. How many end of paths is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 25, 26, 27. That's barely anything. And that's those two are event quests, so they don't count. 26. Only 26 pairs of jewel blades in portable third. That won't be that bad. That won't be that bad. Right, I believe I just need one enlightened blade. Oh. Uh, I believe I just need one horn. Now, I still need shitloads of large outer dragon gems. But I think I just need one day or a hard horn. And then I'm done with that as well. Which is nice. Get in there, man. There's so few weapons left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen! Enlightened Blade is three skills of one. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a combo skill. It's, uh, like Gogamazios is one. It's on his armor set, right? Okay. Oh. 
No, not Peggy 12. Shut your face. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. Yeah, because your dumbass told me to look. <laughs> Never trusting you again. Reasonable, reasonable. Uh, excuse me? Ask, by the way, how on any fucking planet did you have the slightest doubt that I would make a choice that meant that I didn't get the extra fight at the end? How little faith do you have in me that that was even a possibility in your brain? You said you trust me? Well, I mean, clearly not, because you were there was doubt in your heart. Because you were saying before that, you were like, oh, I, I, you know, it's eating me up that there's something that I can't say because it's to do with the end. You doubt it. There was an option to begin with makes your heart flutter. No, that's all I was going to say. Sorry. It just popped back into my mind for a moment. I was like, you son of a bitch. But if it's just the sheer fact that there was an option, then that's fair. I think as long as it's not ending related, you don't really You don't really mind that much, right? Sarah? You might prefer it not be the case, but like you also accept it's kind of impossible to avoid it on this stream at this point. You, but you don't go looking for him yet. That's a good way to put it. I'm. 
What? You stopped playing Darkest Dungeon for like 10 minutes and you somehow got onto that? Is this what happens when you're untethered from Darkest Dungeon? <laughs> Reality just breaks down for you? <laughs> just like, not even sure I'd do what I did, but the last 10% were kind of a struggle. Fair enough. Still playing Darkest Dungeon with Wikipedia on the side. Oh no. Just jumping links, yeah. Clicking the random page button. Hours you have a darkest dungeon? Oh god. That's a horrifying question. Towards iron in particular. Did you not learn your lesson, Iron? Did the game just taught you? Apparently not. No, how many hours do you have? I'm. That's the scary thing. Nine hundred and four. Holy crap. That's more than I have in one ton of world. And that doesn't include all of the time he's spent modding it. Absolutely none of that time is included in that figure. Other than just launching it, seeing if it runs, and then, like, closing the game again. Also, I love the way that reads in English, by the way. Rather than in, uh... <laughs> rather than in... German slash European numerical system. You got 1.904 hours in English. <laughs> Dude's only got two hours in Dark Dungeon. What is included because you gotta activate them all from the main menu. I mean, not the amount of time you spent like searching on the workshop and picking different ones and making an entire spreadsheet to select different classes from different stuff and all that, right? To be fair, none of my spreadsheet times included in the world either, but. As uh, the Karanico grind, as, as Chisel puts it. If all of that time was included in the world as well, that would be scary.
the cats took off the tail. I specifically didn't go to the tail because I didn't want that happening. Damn it. Good job, cats. Determined to survive, Shriek, you got a cure, heal, and two heal over times in the quad. Quad self sustain comp? Jesus Christ. Pure survival, huh? Very nice. It's gonna be really weird to play Darkest Dungeon again whenever I play it next time. Because I've never played like a new save on that game with the amount of knowledge that I have. Not really, because I went back to back with the other saves. So like after a little bit of time where I have had like semi full knowledge, then going back to it again, it's gonna be very weird. Is it injured? It is injured. Wonderful. Wait for it to go to sleep for a little moment here, and then I can hopefully kill it in a single head hit. That should be good by this point. Yep. What affliction? I mean, that's just four people in. Taverns and stuff, right? It's no big deal. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Lovely wake up kill. Delightful. It'd be really funny if you gave me a large Elder Dragon Gem game. Ah, oh, I mean, it tried. Not the right one, but it tried. Credit where credit's due. It nearly gave me what I wanted. It's terrifying to think. I'm actually kind of running out of weapons to build. There's going to be points where I'm actually going to get forced into doing the quests that I have to do. Just to cycle the list another time to maybe get something I actually want. It's nice, but also like, huh? What do you mean? I didn't get a hard hold, we're good. I gotta do it again anyway. 60% <laughs> hard horn. More like every third quest, hard horn. Oh, good. Good. It's actually purely just a good thing because it means more a large Elder Dragon gems. 
Your quests are gonna And I need to switch weapons to the Teostra Greatsword for a painful syphilis. It's a name I don't know if I will ever get over. It's 69 blast damage. for the free diseases match. You'd catch them all on that one hero. <laughs> At least it's good that one's getting all of them instead of a shit like being spread out really far. What is my chances with these suckers? Oh, I don't have them open? Terry. You can't open them at some point and close them again. Large. Elder. Sorry. Lush. Elder Dragon Gem. Wondering if there is like a statistical best monster to fight. Rusted Kashala gives 3% body calves. I think it is actually Kush. Potentially. 4% head rate. Though it's worse on the figgies. Yeah, Rusted Kushala is definitely the best one. Ironically, the Lamia, the hero in question, has a cure disease camping skill, which only works on allies. <laughs> Good. Good. Can cure everyone but themselves and they're the one that gets all the diseases. That is exactly how that works. One sec, it's okay. I'm sure you got a lot to uh to think about. Nine hundred and six quests. Okay. This should be crimson. Yeah, this is super crimson. <laughs> Hence why I am combining mega drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't think there's an event crimson that isn't super crimson. This isn't an event. Oh, really? Then this is normal crimson. Okay, thank fuck. I thought this was an event quest. Crimson fatty, eh? More work on weapons, I see. Oh, maybe I... Oh, I might need another fucking large Elder Dragon gem. Oh. I've seen so many of them. Can you trade for them at all? Nope. No, you can't. This, if we win this quest, this will allow me to see what I need for the Crimson Fatty weapon, though. Which is very helpful. Ooh, what? Uh, 
It's so good, man. Hey, Tenjuriki. Welcome. Good to see for you. Keep this going while you play yourself. Have a good time. Love this game. <laughs> oh. Good old Crimson Fatty. And his fucking phenomenal music. I will happily help you with the headbreak, Sugano. <laughs> Why you gotta make it not good? This one guy? I was having such a good time. <laughs> Why you gotta ruin it? Oh. Oh god, my health. Not that chunky in this one, though. No. I don't even know what monster you're talking about with that, to be honest. Yeah, Luna's heat waves are annoying. I actually quite like Luna though, in Worlds, to be honest. Got kicked off because of the fucking lava. Should we drag him up here? So that you can actually get your mount, Sagado, so that doesn't fucking happen again. Because we specifically need the head break for you. And the way we're gonna get that is the mount, so. We can't have him down there. Or it's not happening. That actually hit me? Really? Huh. Am I dead here? <laughs> yep, I am. That's annoying. That's a really crappy way to die, man. To the frickin' lava spurts. That sucks. Take me this 
Just pop a million things. I'll be back in a minute. There we go. Sorry, Sagano. move the thing back up. I was just going to try and use that. I haven't fought this fight. Guy with great sword. I don't know if I've ever fought Crimson Fatty with, with great sword and multiplayer. I fought him in, in Village like two full years ago at this point. One time. <laughs> don't quite remember that. That should be far enough away from the edge that it doesn't matter. Just about Fatty not being a pain in the ass and doing a double or something. Which seems like we're good. Push us since again has earplugs. Very nice. Very damn good. Come on. This should be at least a horn break. There we go. Just need to get one more mount and we should be able to break the eye. Oh, no. Oh, I'm cripplingly weak to fire. I sort of forgot. Negative 25. I'm lucky that didn't one-shot me. dead. Man. Sorry, Sakato. Kind of just did terribly on that one. Tough one, yeah. Yeah, he is. I will eat for fire resistance next time. <laughs> I sort of forgot that I had negative fire resistance. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. Just a small one. I also need crimson fatty parts. Yup. I'm not doing the one where you have to take your damn armor off. Or take your damn items away. Not again. <laughs> Camellios is the tail carve. And the body carves. That's it. Wait, we're not doing Camellios. We're doing Molten Tigrex. Ignore me. We need the head break and the tail carve. Same as before. Pasta, why? Why am I doing so badly? 
because you're playing Darkest Dungeon and this is what other people experience in Darkest Dungeon 9? The luck turning against you? Hello, Lugia. It's very bad planning again. Well, stop bad planning then. Why is this like off off centered slightly? There we go. That's weird how that gets like that fucked up when you do that. <laughs> Fifty-eight catcher watcher. Fifty-eight Zanoga. Catcher watcher and Zanoga are tied for my highest killed by like a decent shot. Interesting. That surprises me. It's very nice to see me. Thanks. Oh, I'll be here all day. <laughs> Essentially. I didn't have my 3D audio turned on. That's like I'm in the hall. Looks like the two screens on the 3DS aren't the same size. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Two dream tickets for the hallway battle. That's pretty good. It's the same class restrictor trinket as the hero that you just lost two rounds prior. Oh. Uh, you are actually getting the trolling that Darkest Dungeon gives to everyone else. How does it feel? How does it feel to be at the whims of Darkest Dungeon's feelings? Having to deal with what it wants rather than what you want. To connect to you, you need to do what? You're already in the Citra Lobby. You join the Citra Lobby. Then go into local multiplayer. Search for a local hub. And then it should be listed there. If it's not listed there, let me know. I just need to reload it. Does it need be for you to need some time off Darkest Dungeon? Potentially. I'm. Maybe you need to play another game for a bit, huh? You were playing Risk of Rain Returns, to be fair. Maybe that's why. It's because you played Risk of Rain Returns. You've lost your edge. Five minutes later, I know I'm ready, yeah. Ain't that the truth? It's now not showing for some reason. I probably need to rehost the lobby then. It has been up for a few hours at this point. Shush, no! You might as well be the Darkest Dungeon guy in my chat line. Three walls in a row, all stepping forward, huh? Cool. Very cool, Tiggy. Words of truth are not appreciated. Is that so? What? That's how you brand me? That's how you brand yourself, man. I don't brand you anything.
it's just on some occasions that you talk about Darkest Dungeon, not that excessive. I would state it's not an over-exaggeration. I would genuinely estimate about 80% of your chat is Darkest Dungeon related. You don't type that much in chat if you're not talking about Darkest Dungeon. Like, you just don't really chat that much. You come in, you say something... You usually say hello, and then you say, like, some strange thing. And then you'll be silent for entire streams. Other than that... And then you'll be playing Darkest Dungeon, and you'll just talk about it for, like, two hours. <laughs> Doing a drive by and dropping some dice dungeon gameplay. Not gameplay, no, but uh The occasional Tom Foley, etc. You don't really chat other than that though. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just merely an observation. I don't mind if people sit in here and never chat in their entire lives, right? Hopefully not everyone, because that would make this much harder, but Just noting. I genuinely was amazed when you redeemed so many games. And then actually listed so many different games. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't know you knew a world outside of Darkest Dungeon, I... I thought the whole world was just Monster Hunter and Darkest Dungeon to you. I didn't know other games existed in your vocabulary. Darkest Dungeon slaps. It's a good game, yeah. It's a good game. That's why it's no criticism, it's just merely observation. If you threaten to never chat again until you tell me a negative trait about me. Then I would have a very easy out by saying a negative trait about you is that you're trying to blackmail me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons are easy compared to having to react real time to monsters or enemies and Dark Souls. It depends on your uh, your preference, right? It's not a trait, it's a first time occurrence out of despair? What do you mean despair? If you abuse scouting in Darkest Dungeon, it becomes easy. I, I disagree. Personally, Darkest Dungeon does not become easy at any point for me. It becomes easier than it is. Not easy. You can't just abuse scouting, right? You 
can't sleep at night until you know. You've slept plenty of nights without knowing. That's not true. You got the mining set and two skeleton mining kills. Really? Nice. Hell yeah. You can use the ancestors map and other scouting crickets. This, this is where I know... This is one of those cases. You've become divorced from reality with Darkest Dungeon. Do you know what you need to do to get the Ancestors map? You need to kill a fucking Shambler. Easy? No, it's not easy. To one in five to get the map. Yeah, I'm being generous and saying that you get it on your first attempt. Just pop some repost boys on your team. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, just have game knowledge about this big enemy that you don't know about before you've ever seen it before. It's fucking easy, right? Oh, you people. <laughs> You hurt me. It's like you've never played a game that you haven't played before in your life. You don't know the fear and the horror that comes with the unknown. You don't know what that enemy is. You don't know what that enemy can do. You don't know what its moves are. Is it even worth doing? What does it drop? You don't know. All you know is that you tried to focus down the boss for five minutes, killed it, and then got killed because one of these little fucking slappy things that it spawned did a million damage to you. I don't, like, I don't even know why I try and have a conversation sometimes. Ugh. Christ. I like that you said, N new try, I'm not going to talk about Darkest Dungeon, then proceeded to talk about Darkest Dungeon for <laughs> every message after that point, by the way, I'd. <laughs> I'm not arguing that the Shambler Trinkets aren't good. The Shambler Trinkets are amazing. What I'm saying is you can't just expect the new player to just take on the Shambler. Right? If you've never played Darkest Dungeon before, you can't say to someone who's never played Darkest Dungeon before, like, oh yeah, Darkest Dungeon's easy, just get scouting. What the fuck's a scouting? Right? Like, I know what the word means. I don't know what it means in-game. I don't know how scouting works. I don't know how to just get scouting. Like, what? What do you mean? Presumably trinket-based, but like, who? What trinkets? On who? How? How do you get them? Right? <laughs> You'll never sleep well again. I mean, that's true, but that's completely unrelated to me. He 
easy just get good? Why are the people on the internet the way they are? Watch you sprout absolute bullshit about Darkest Dungeon, make your iron shiver. <laughs> I don't know that. I mean, I kind of do, though. How is your weather today? I do enjoy breathing. You're doing such a good job of definitely sounding normalized than like an actual human being. I <laughs> That's what people say when they come into chat. How's the weather? I enjoy breathing. <laughs> Don't think we get to restart the lobby. We'll do next so. That won't work because you're going to go have lunch. That's why he's doing it. <laughs> Fresh start, he's not gonna put talk about Darkest Dungeon. He's gonna leave instead. <laughs> no, blast heart. Oh look, another Tigger Expansion that's completely used. That's nice. Pointless, you can't loss. Yeah, be two minutes, sure thing. I am very human, yep. Definitely. <laughs> I go eat now, have a nice day. <laughs> Enjoy, I. Tell you why. There you go, Nixel. That should hopefully work. I'm starting to think that Molten Tigrex might be the last thing I do in this run. How are you supposed to do any character growth if no one knows? Hmm. There's nothing else, nothing else in your entire person that you think you can work on. Without having to be directly told and it pointed out. Hopefully your connection manages to stick stable. I think there isn't childhood drama. I mean, isn't that enough? Does it have to be more on that? Time you had a G on a G. Onto the hyper grind again we go. Enjoy, Eugene. Have fun. I even got guard plus one at this set. Damn. Pretty nice. Brasso. Pretty good. Give me over, of course. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. My friends say you sound like a new anchor guy. 
like, what? Does that even mean? Like a, like a weather person? How do I sound like a weather person? A new anchor guy as well? Which makes me sound like I'm... <laughs> I sound like afraid or something. <laughs> <laughs> you watched one last of us runner <laughs> was indeed a weather person before that's amazing you did tell him i used to be a dm yeah my enunciation is strong for the most part my words are clear well hopefully sometimes they're not Used to be a DM. For some reason, that cuts a little bit. You can't fight Molten until G special. No, think so. You can save the place if you want this viewable forecast on YouTube. That's kind of cute. I like that. I might sound the part, but I have a I have a distinct disadvantage of being a, a news person. So it will probably never happen. He didn't upload them, but made a playlist yet. I gotcha. three swipes in a row, huh? That was a really good blast proc timing. Oh, headbreak and tail breaks what I need, by the way. Since you might not know that, Nixel. Absolutely no luck with hitting the tail here. Every time he's slightly moved out of the way. Shame all of them use that prime already. <laughs> Let them use their prime when they want to use it. <laughs> uh. Are you harassing your friends on my behalf again? I mean, I appreciate it, but like, <laughs> don't harass your friends. Paint, don't use it. That's the prerogative. I don't think you'd ever say it in Monster Hunter in general, but you're kind of struggling with Zenny in GU. There's so many weapon upgrades in that game, though. That's why. Even doing everything solo and selling everything over 15 or 20. Yep. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in GU, and it costs a lot of money. I'd never do that.
Hello again, Spaghetti. Welcome back. We host every get together we do at our home. This is how they can pay back. <laughs> Shouldn't they pay you back? <laughs> Since you're the one doing the work. Not me. No? Would that not be the case? I'm still not sure if that's a compliment or not. I'm saying I sound like a web presenter. It is a compliment. It just it feels like a weird one. <laughs> Never what I expected to get. We are weird here, yeah, well, that's fair. Everyone's a little bit weird. Oh, is it actually going up here? W-A? Huh, Naki? <laughs> Do you mean Kashala orders at McDonald's? WhatsApp? Oh yeah, that exists. He just did, apparently. Okay. I was going to say fair enough, but my brain is just going, huh? The whole time. <laughs> Shopping. Kashala's the fucker that makes it to the ice cream. Machine's always broken, right? The bastard. Really looking forward to be playing Terraria again. Did I put Terraria in the last poll? I don't know if I did. No, I didn't. I did mean to. Gem either. You even missed the last one? Ah. Interesting question, Eugene. Out of the games in there, what would you have voted for? Because the last one was very close. Very close. Uh, your quest, Nixel. Whatever you want to do.
why are you stuck? Cat, stop being stuck. Thank you. T-Boy, Binding of Isaac, yeah. It was fully wrote out, but in the, like, in the redo, I couldn't be asked to write it. Please play the horn for the love of God. I please do it. Oh, Lord, please use the horn. I need to see it. Hello, Enter. <laughs> did you not see it when I played it yesterday? I played it yesterday. I actually did a really good quest. It's the withdrawal speak. The withdrawal? What do you mean withdrawal? You would have voted for Sekiro. If you don't get your ass to finally play it, you need someone else to do it. You know what the funny thing about that is, Eugene? If I'm not mistaken, I think that means Sekiro would have won. Because <laughs> it... From what I remember, it was six for Stardew, six for Sekiro, and seven for God Eater. And if it was between Sekiro and God Eater, I would have picked Sekiro. You chose the wrong element. Ice is good for Garuga. Why can't you be unemployed like the rest of us, Sanj? Hey, technically I'm employed. <laughs> technically, I am employed. Just don't look at my paychecks. <laughs> Don't tell Mace. That was literally the first thing I was going to do. <laughs> Just finished assembling a huge Bandai Namco model. Happy times. Nice. Got him. Of anything in particular? Please don't. Oh, good. Good. I thought I was going to interrupt that for a second there. I didn't see that that was a mount. Seriously, only losers go to work or work for someone. Oh. Oh yeah, that one. You talked about that before. Are you happy with it? you a while to get to it the results are amazing hell yeah three hours Woo. is it already all painted and stuff like you just needed to just quote unquote just needed to put bits together or did you need to like paint and whatnot it is okay cool i was gonna say if you needed to paint it all as well three hours is pretty quick <laughs> stickers I don't know. I'm not sure what that means in this particular context. <laughs> I'm still unemployed as of yet. That's true. You're not employed until January, right? Oh, okay. Right, that makes sense. And 
the chin pharaoh thing. That makes sense as well. Exactly. <laughs> With the gun. <laughs> Yo, Eugene, you're gonna you're gonna hook me up, right? Some of that some of that money from the <laughs> I'll do none of the work, but I'll go 50-50 with you. <laughs> You're already subbed. What else do I want? Your life savings, please. It's all a big scam. I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny. I couldn't commit to it because it felt so wrong. <laughs> Man, how do people shell? Without feeling like complete shit, <laughs> even if they're doing it as a joke. I don't understand. You're gonna have to start buying stuff, you do. Think of the things you're gonna buy. All the monster and stuff. <laughs> Buy a sword. A sword is a good choice. Fuck yeah, dude. Buy a sword. Buy me a sword. I want a sword. Great investment? I don't know if it's a great investment, but it's sexy as hell. Got PC a year ago. A thousand bucks. Four hundred five for the graphics card alone. Nice. Iron great sword, thank you. One guy. I'll use the other one of the two iron great swords this time round, because I use. Because uh, yeah, because I have two of them is what I wanted to say there. Hello, Iron. Welcome back. How how was your lunch? have weapons but not a sword it seems like you have a gap in your weapons selection then sword <laughs> scrumptious good so get a spear <laughs> for longer longer range Gonna need a charge blade if anything. That might be difficult to purchase a functional charge blade, unfortunately. <laughs> Are you talking about Dragon's Dogma or Darkest Dungeon, Iron? Because I expect you to try and pull a sneaky. As soon as you came back, I was thinking he's going to try and pull a sneaky. You're talking about Dragon's Dogma, yep. Knew it. I mean, I think it's a great game. 84% off as well. Darker isn't good. The DLC, in my opinion, is one of the weaker spots in the game. But Dark Arisen is the only copy that exists anymore, so. The game itself is amazing, though. 
so good. New one comes out next year. As well, so it's not a terrible time to see if you like it. One Garuga down, a million to go. Are you getting Garuga armor in G rank? Wait, why do you need Garuga? You've got full thingy. Dark. Dragon's Dogma 2 is on Steam already. It's on Steam, but it's pre purchase. So a status step would be great for times when you fight multiple monsters. Uh, okay, fair enough. Oh. <laughs> How much do you have to do, Nixel, before your G special? Nixel can't join us on this one. You haven't done like any key quests at all, right? Five bucks is five bucks. You can instead start Witcher 3 for real ones. It's also a fantastic idea. The only key that you did was Kashala. Oh. Nixle can't join? No. This is G special. Quests. Almost all of the quests in here are G special. G3, G special, G1, 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 G1. G special, G specials. There's a lot of G specials. Darkerism frequently goes down to minus 84%. Yeah, it does. And it probably will when it gets when Dark when 2 gets released as well. for Sagado to find something that he actually wants to do, probably.
You skip for now. We'll do one of Nixel's key quests, maybe, as your quest. So that you can start getting up. If Nixel's fine with being, like, boosted. Then if Nixel wanna take, wants to take their time. Because es essentially everything I need to post is also... G3. You're gonna take a lunch break? Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Back in about 20 minutes. Sure thing. I don't remember, to be honest, though. Don't really want to be boosted, honestly. Sure, we'll redo that one, Kashala, because you need the sword and shield. I mean, and I will not post this quest. I will post the Kashala again. I need those cool drinks and flash bombs, except I need hot drinks and flash bombs. We can hopefully get a few a few quests going here then, Nixel, but most of the stuff that I need is in G special, so I don't know if we're gonna get to play too much together, unfortunately. You don't want to be boosted up as well because i don't want to i don't want to boost you if you don't want to be right Can I boost you from HR too? No. No, no, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit too far, that one. Tail. I'm not gonna hit it though. It's Kashala tail. Can't you just boost yourself, Sarah, with those Zakan twins that you have? Can we rank the next game that gets pulled? Why? With the what? The Zakun Twins Jewel Blades that you have. Specifically to the not to be named game. There isn't a... There isn't a challenge run for Darkest Dungeon. So no. I'm just really happy I hit the tail there. Because then you have proper reason to dump your knowledge.
What about my torchless run? It's not a challenge run, it's just a midweek mastery thing. The idea is to do with the torchless run and get the um, the ancestors trinkets at the same time. Because I fucked that up on my main save. Because I was in despair because you made me go fight a thing that I, I wasn't ready to go fight. This one, Sarah? Yeah? When you get far enough in the story, you unlock it. Single player story, that is, specifically. Um, there's four of them. They're Y stones. They allow you to knock frenzied monsters out of frenzy. And give you effects to frenzied monsters as well. So, like, the red one allows you to do more damage to frenzied monsters. The orange one means frenzied monsters don't hit you as hard. I think the other one is like turquoise. It makes it so the status effects and elements work on frenzied monsters. Drive doesn't do anything to frenzied monsters in particular. But what drive does is it makes it so you can actually fucking hit apex monsters without bouncing off their body. If I'd done enough quests, um, like extra quests, I would be able to have two of them as well. Because you can carry two wise stones if you've done the correct quests. I just haven't. I really dislike that attack with the tornadoes going sideways like that. I fuck that heal went off in time. Drive grants a one point stomach multiplier to damage too. Oh, okay, cool. It's so bullshit, man. So like genuinely the only thing about Kashala in this game that pisses me off is that attack. Why the fuck does the witch want to do a 45 gigabyte update? Because they did, um... A high definition texture pack for everything in the game for free. has been out for like four months by the way I and why have you not updated it do you not let your steam update games I know your internet's kind of like booby but No need to update them. I mean, you literally have just proven the reason why you let your games update. Because you might want to play them and then you'll see that there's a big update and then you can't play them. Updates fuck with mods. I mean, Ein's not mod in The Witcher 3, I don't think. I guess they even played it normally.
And you can't appreciate stream because it's running on the side. I mean, I'm not streaming all day long, right? Well, today I am, but like Wednesday I don't stream. As an example. Today is the exception, okay? Look at it. Not fair. <laughs> But the other time you sleep. Is that all you do? <laughs> you watch the sleep the stream or you're asleep. Sometimes work as well. That's me. No, we hang out sometimes as well. What do you work as, Ayn? Good question, Ayn. What's What do you do for work? You, you wanted something to talk about, like normal people talk about, instead of just dying stunted all the time? Although I do actually understand not wanting to share that one in particular, because it is identifying information. Don't double. Good. Oh, it actually gave it to me. That's so kind. It's your problem with chatting. How do you talk without fear? How do you ever talk without fear? Got asked what your in in real life name is. Yeah, that's that's too far. Mainst teeny being in retail, wise being in his abs, 24 7 for example. Yep. You're my hitman, be careful when you're deciding not to suffer. Yo, I can't give you any money for that. <laughs> We'd be freelancing as good as we can. <laughs> Apparently not very, at least on my end. You have been to school, but not anymore. <laughs> the cagiest answers. Oh, I'm not getting a wake up attack, dang. Drive gives a sharpness multiplier. Oh. Did you read the rest of your contract, by the way, Eugene? Flat 10% damage to guns. That's pretty good. It's kind of a shame it didn't give them, like, more critical... Critical distance. Because that's kind of like the equivalent of sharpness for guns, right? Would be critical range. Did nothing out of the ordinary, which you were sp looking for specifically. You need to ask one or two things for meeting up. Nice. I'm glad there wasn't some deep clause in there, which was like, your soul belongs to us. <laughs> Just really dodgy. I'm alive.
I'm the mystery man. The darkest dungeon mystery man. No thing for me. Oh, come on, rewards. Be good to me. Play Black Reliquary. <laughs> he can't quit. He literally can't stop. <laughs> he needs help. He needs help. Why do I have so many more rewards? It's just pure luck. You could imagine since the boss, like you said multiple times, is more than genuine. Came to your address delivering money for your test work. She isn't even obligated to pay in the first place. That's good. You knew you'd write chef eventually? Yeah. I mean, I know it's boss in Swedish at least, so. I uh, imagine it's just the same thing. Deora's Deathmaker. Done. Another one. Another one finished. Chef in English is referring to a cook specifically, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve weapons left. Alas, I do not have an easy one. That was my last easy one. Your quest, Nixel? Zero horns, by the way, you need three. Yep. I got one horn about every three quests and I needed four of them myself. So I <laughs> I understand. I understand. Desert self is queen. Oh, you want the tail break, right? I put those in there. <laughs> No, not anymore. Oh. You need mats for war sword shield. Well. I was sure you needed the tail. Who is D in the lobby? Uh, they're just a random person. I don't know who they are at all. I have no idea.
or if they are someone who is from here, they haven't announced themselves, so I I don't recognize the name at least. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you subquest found the tail? Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. That's a good way to do it. Gets it gone, make sure you know that you've got it. Don't have to mess around. Fuck you. No, sorry, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> the old sneeze thing where it's like sneeze once or twice it's like bless you bless you and then the third one it's shut the fuck up <laughs> is that really a thing <laughs> i've done it to people for as long as i can remember and i feel like people do it to me a lot as well it's a thing in my life, at least. Me and, uh... Me and Teddy do it all the time. the copyright? I don't know if I've got copyright. Nothing that official. Maybe I should apply for one. Hey. Good stuff. One, two, three. I did hit the arm there, thankfully. He once did the mistake of blocking that shooting liquid attack without black belt or constitution. Yeah, it takes a lot of stamina. It's a heavy attack. Never again. The only time I block that attack is in desperate situations, and every time I'm like, I hope I can block this. Because it just, it takes so damn much. It's insane. Luckily, not too hard to predict it, yeah. It's always after, like, three back things. Always after it's taken steps backwards. Which is high, Andy. Ooh. It's a good roll. That actually hit me. I really like the dunes, actually. I quite like this map a lot. I'm still feeling very bittersweet about this challenge run. Because I'm like, man, it's taken so long. Also, it's been a good chunk of fun.
kind of like, I don't really necessarily want it to end. <laughs> well, I would love to do something else. It's just nice to play for you. Waiting for this map to be night in GU as well. Never been so far. Does it have night quests in. No, I don't think it does. I don't think that map has. Time variation in GU. I'm not sure though. It might do. It's been a long time since I played G rank proper. There is no do this night. There you go. Missed opportunity. I guess, I mean, they were already, like, pushing the absolute maximum of the space they had in the DS cartridge, right? Welcome back, Sagando. Maybe they just couldn't afford to put it in there. Like 13 regular maps would have been more possible on the Switch cartridge, what about assume? Yeah. I also think some of the maps maybe didn't need to be there, right? Was Sunken Hollow Day and Sunken Hollow like Volcano and Cold? Was both of them really necessary? When you're just gonna take monsters like Yangaruga and put them into that volcanic map which they don't belong anyway it's just odd right Found a G3 quest you would need, Sagano? Nice. What is it? Do you manage to keep it a bit stale? Including the excluding the hypers and the deviants? Apex Diablos? Sh surely you need to be thingy for that. No? G special? It's an event in the arena. Oh. That's sneaky. Bad luck is rough to have on a set. Something with fire on it is all this says. Let me find the highest fire. 800. Eight hundred is the highest fire I can do. Prepare to be one shot, yeah. 
Isn't that always the case, though? Apex Monsters. Wait, is this G special? God damn it, man. That's G3. Did I already eat? I don't know. Nope, I did not. Hunting a Roshi Kirin. <laughs> Which is the Ice Kirin. I need four of his horns. Memory serves me. That's utterly horrible. Can I share the quest with you? Yeah, I can do it after this. Here at Ice Peak is actually a 100% for a Roshi. Oh, fuck yeah. That's delightful. So it will only take four Roshi Kirins. Nice. Whereas normal Kirin, it's only at 80%. Because of course it is. That's that's good drop rate. <laughs> Mention it after the quest just to make sure, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I have a tendency to uh get lost in the source of what I'm doing and then completely forget stuff like that, so do make sure you do that. Thank you, Eugene. <laughs> for stopping me from uh ignoring people. By accident. Normal catcher weapons are really good elemental wise, yeah. This great sword has eight hundred fire, for example's sake. Which is crazy high. If that's an attack it has? Oh. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that. quickly you can break out of that if you just spin your stick super fast. 
the freest thing, man. That attack, the fact that he uses that as much as he does, is actually going to make him really annoying in G rank. I'm glad I'm only going to have to fight him four times. Well, I'm only going to have to get four wins, I should say. Double ice as well. It's kind of a shame because high rank of Kira was actually really nice to fight. But the speed and the size of that is going to get incredibly aggravating. Very quickly. Nice one. There's that horn. Splendid. This is also a 50-50 pure crystal for me. Somehow I am exceptionally good at rolling the non-50. Break time. Welcome back, Mace. I have a devastating piece of news for you, Mace. You know the last poll... How Sekiro basically lost it by one vote. Eugene didn't know the poll was there. Or didn't have time to vote in it because Eugene was at work. And would have voted Sekiro. Which means it would have been the game that was picked. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to share that little nugget with you. Am I losing my mind? Or is this D person just too quick? Watch this D person. I swear they're like they're moving too quickly. I feel like I'm insane. I am? Am I? Might just be lag. Hey, Frenchie Morning. Lag does that sometimes? Yeah. do this real quick. God damn it, Oroshi. I'm trying to check something. No, it's it's not even the running that I'm thinking of. It's specifically this animation. No, it just goes quicker if you do level one charges. Okay. I've just never seen anyone do level 1 charges, because... <laughs> Why would you?
Three fine hides. That's fine by me. Sakando left the gathering hall. What perfect timing for that to happen. Right as we finish the quest. Mwah. Unfortunate still, but way better. Isn't there a skill that makes a level 1 charge the equivalent of a higher level? If there is, I've never heard of it. Sorry if you are in here, D. That's suspecting you. That just looked mighty suspect because I didn't know that that was a quicker animation. I hate you all people. You can't hit the Kirin because we stun lock you. You realize two of us use the great swords, right? <laughs> like, how do we stun lock you? Could be thinking of something else, possibly. The insect life stun locks you? That can't happen, yeah. Kieran is a bad monster for... for multi-hunts for small weapons like that. You do have, um... You have invincibility, though, on Insect Glaive. Or on Sword and Shield, as long as you're actively attacking. You just have to be actively attacking. Dongo McDango, hello. Welcome. That's a good name. First and second attacks in combo doesn't. Oh, really? I thought if you did the run dashing attack, that did have iframes. Fair enough. Garen's just a bad creature for that. Unfortunately. Can't even necessarily blame whoever you're hunting with. It's just Garen is bad for that. Everyone is forced to such a tiny little area on his head. Because no one could do damage otherwise. <laughs> It wasn't the the best four out thing ever. Your quest, Nixel. Citra and see what I just put there. We'll do Nixus Quest, then we'll do these one. Man, bad luck on a set is braver than me. Honestly. If I had bad luck, I would go insane. Just every time I looked at my rewards and didn't get something I wanted, I'd be like, it was bad luck? <laughs> it was bad luck's fault. I know it was. Even though that's not how that works at all. Yeah. What do I have? that I can actually work towards. My options are becoming limited, and I don't like it. Large Elder Dragon Gems are still a real and pressing issue. To be fair. That's basically always something I've got. I'm just going to take this one. Oh, 
Ugh. Got to share the Oroshi quest? Yep. Because <laughs> you didn't remind me. <laughs> I thought about like six other things since then it's gone. I think that's the short term memory lo lifespan. I think it's about six things. Four to six, four to eight, depending on who you are. Especially when I started to think about weapons as soon as we got back as well. Gone immediately. I like the horn blowing. That's a underutilized part of these games, honestly. Attack horning everyone on the squad. <laughs> it's so funny. Just never get to use. Oh, nice. That was a uh, aerial hit. A non mount based knockdown. Nice. heal from this. Thanks you Max Potions. My loving caring friends. This area is so tempting just to spam mountain attacks in but I really shouldn't. The terrain just lends itself to it. And a one, two, three. I was about to ask Sagando if the quest that he wants to do actually gives him the parts he needs. But if it is an Apex, it has to drop a Zenith gem of some sort, so it should be able to, yeah. That probably isn't actually an issue. Even though Apex Diablos is scary as hell. I always forget he exists. Hmm. I feel like I remember the other Apex creatures pretty well, but Diablos just gets kind of lost in the in the source for some reason. I suppose it's because you don't really unlock him that conveniently. Tiggy, you've usually done enough to unlock him by the time you get to him. For Jang, you normally unlock him in G because you have to find ghoulish gold hor Goras. Diablos, you have to do like, is it 15? Normally, Diablos, you have to do like 15 of either of them. You can't play to play World and or Elden Ring when you get home. Oh yeah, why? Just failing them today. Back in the world phase. Did his his quest just ended already? Right. 
right? He did the thing. Something is fucking fishy with this person. I'm telling you, man. They have some sort of speed mod on. There's, like, weird things in movement is fair, but ending a quest that much quicker than everyone else is, like, not possible in the way the game works by default. Hiroshi, yep, thank you. I had forgotten about him. We're not even back yet, so I can't send it to you. Can I give you the crest as well, Sagando? Yep. How many pookies did you hunt is on the remind command? Okay. Thanks, you're welcome. Worky time, have fun. Serios? <laughs> nope. them know it would be theirs if they wanted to post. Where'd you get the last tier of armor spheres? Uh, <laughs> Guild quests above level 132, I think. If memory serves, the divine armor spheres, right? It's incredibly high level guild quests. They are on 115% of speed, so they are moving too quickly. I wasn't insane. Good. They were moving too fast. Because they were running quicker than me as well. 
on the Garuga quest when we were running to the Garuga. They overtook me despite the fact that they left after me. And I know how to manage stamina. No start at 126. Oh, is it that early, Humbro? Cool. Welcome, by the way. I don't know if I said that. The ugliest great sword I have? Oh, God. You got the pick of the litter there. There's a whole bunch of them that just don't look good. fish? No, there's like... Uh, is it called like Volcamagnodon or something? It looks horrendous. Let me check if I can see the name. The Volca Vendetta. The Vulcanus Path. Just looks fucking horrible. Gogfight spoilers for you? I mean, you don't have to come on this quest <laughs> if you don't want to. <laughs> Remember, Great Sword looks pretty jank. Yeah. I, that one genuinely looks like it's got shitty textures from an older game, though. <laughs> It looks really bad. Okay, you'll solo it later. Fair enough. I don't think I've ever seen anyone in chaotic armor before, by the way. Kind of a novelty. Interesting that this person has a fully honed weapon before they've done GOG. It's it's doable, it's relatively easily doable if you're good at the game, but surprising. The special or path of wire is neat, you think? They got a theme and they stick to it. I mean, they have a theme and they stick to it, but that doesn't change the fact I think it looks ugly as sin. <laughs> oh, damn it. That's a bummer. Uses cheats, maybe, but I don't want to be too judgmental. And I don't know what's going on there. They are a surprisingly low rank for someone in G3 star as well. Like Hunter rank. But I'm not going to level cheating accusations at people without actually knowing they are. Or without it being very obvious. Appreciate the execution of the vision. Fair enough. I didn't like that weapon in Portable Third either. Any of them. Because I think that's where they come from, if I'm not mistaken, right? They're Portable Third weapons.
Also, if they use cheats, why would they need help with cog? <laughs> Is the question, <laughs> right? Just don't make sense. Hey, Doggo McDago. I still love your name. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. Whatever this is. Anymore. I don't know. <laughs> Big lag? What's that? Me or... Since well, it's the second half of streams. What happened to GU? I finished high rank and then called the challenge run there. For reasons that I've gone over a few times now, so I won't keep repeating. They're in the Discord. Last thing of GU, you remembered it was high, high rank hypers. Yep. I ended at Narcos. I basically played Jen. Your first encounter with a hacker, they posted a quest. You heard a Garuga in outside of the base camp. We killed it and it dropped Crimson Fatalis parts. <laughs> Confusing. Channel in the Discord, in the general chat, I think. Why wouldn't you just post the Crimson Fatalis quest? It just ends to kill it. Like, what? <laughs> Some people are so weird, man. Sometimes the way hackers do the cheating, it's just like, why did you do it like this? Not a Garuga. A Kutku? Yan Kaku rather than Yan Garuga. I understand the confusion there. One that lays the eggs. A Gargwa? What? Even more wild. Crimson Gargwa. Oh, we lost Sagando at some point? I didn't realize. Sorry, so when did you drop out, Sagando? I feel bad now. I did wonder how you were typing in chat and playing at the same time. Maybe Garg was related to Fatalis somehow, yeah. Should have known something was up when you said the name of the quest he posted, yeah. Got dropped again, damn, okay. Crimson is the egg that managed to hatch before you collected it, yeah. <laughs> egg Mafia questline is so weird. funny, but it's weird.
the story of the quest line is the only thing making eggs somewhat enjoyable and for you. I quite like the egg quests in this game. I think they're entertaining. You, I actually feel on edge in egg quests in this game, but also like I sort of have some level of control. You hate the egg quests and you have to do them soon? Ugh. Remember that Mega Energy is your friend. And uh, Transporter always exists. Feline Knockback or whatever it's called. Transporter the skill. Mega Dash Juice. Egg Quests are easy peasy. With all three. You run faster. You don't get small knockbacks. the other thing to do? Infinite stamina. <laughs> Completely forgot what dash juice is in for a moment. Big brain. I'm fully expecting this might be rude. I'm fully expecting this person to leave the lobby after this first play. Can you even kill everything on the on the map in newer egg quests? I don't think so. Don't they just infinitely respawn? I thought they infinitely respawned in 3U and 4U. It just takes an amount of time before they'll respawn. Just the main monsters? Oh, I just completely ignore the main monsters. In 3U and 4U, they stay dead? Oh, really? Huh. I know the big boys stay dead. I didn't know the small ones stayed dead as well. Well... Small ones respawn? Yeah, of course the big ones just stay dead. I was talking about small ones. Well. That would be horrifying if you had like an infinitely respawning frenzied Raphalos on that one quest. Fuck that. Tiggy quest might... Did I do that on the first time round? No, I think I just powered through. I don't think I even killed them there. The final egg quest with the two Tigrex was the only one where you didn't kill them. That was the only one where I was ever tempted to kill them. <laughs> I remember one of them getting stuck behind the rock. It jumped over the rock. And it got stuck there for a little bit, but it did eventually manage to get out. It's a shame I didn't get stuck behind there for the whole quest. It would have been a lot easier. The one with the two rafts, they needed to die. <laughs>
Does anyone else have a binder or is it just me? It looks like it might just be me. Well. That's shit. <laughs> yep. No one picked up the thing I picked. Ah, uh, it's a bummer. I should have just stayed up there as well. I thought jumping down would be safer, but I think that's only true on the other sides. You had one, Sagando. <laughs> well, shit. him out of the big attack again. There are no egg quests in hub. No, there's only like powder stones instead. Can you land already? I don't know if I've ever seen a dog fly for this long. There we go. his music. I really think they nailed the music with Gog. I didn't hear him. What do you mean? There is a Japanese high rank event quest for five Wyvernex. <laughs> Weird. Just enough that you can't do it in one rotation with a full lobby. Sorry, the love of my life is asking me for, fresh, uh, for help. The Japanese exclusive silver spoon hunting horn. A cat armor that looks like a ramen bowl with an egg on top. I have unsurprisingly never seen them. Probably because my game would crash if they were visible. Spoon horn is funny. A silver spoon hunting horn does sound a bit, a bit interesting. Oh, that actually hit. Cool. We we'll just load the iron horn. Oh, really? It does actually have a fail save for that. Because GU crashes. You. 
I went silent for a bit and I said, sorry, it's because I just got a message. Because I was reading and responding to you. Important business, absolutely. That was quick. I think that's the shortest I've ever seen him fly for. Oh, that's gonna hit me. First silver raft being a silver crown, how fitting. Yeah, that is very good. Welcome back, crone. How was the nap? No point holding on to this if I've only got one of them anyway. Return to boast about your combat prowess in Boulder Skate. Oh. If you set it up correctly, you can now attack 10 times per turn with your warrior. <laughs> Oh, fighters. Wizard has unlocked level 6. Bell slots. Very nice. 10 times a turn? Have you got some way to attack as a bonus action? You do? Okay. I was going to say, I don't think the game goes to level 20, does it? Yeah, no. Level 10 allows you to do free attacks with an action. Free attacks with an action. A hasted action allows you to do free attacks. One bonus action allows you to do free attacks. Or to do a attack, sorry. Which would equal 7. And then also you can... Action search to get another three. Exactly. Yeah. I was trying to do the maths there. You're just stupid shrug. Yep. Haste is a good fucking spell. <laughs> ready. Shit. <sighs> that blows. Right, I need to go take a picture of a book real quick. Be right back. Man, that was really unfortunate. 
that one that one last death really sucked as well because like i just saw it happening did you hear haste as in final fantasy no haste is in D D. you didn't know what you was doing the whole fight <laughs> yeah that's fair We nearly got him. We, we, we were super close to winning. Honestly. We were incredibly, incredibly close to winning. We just didn't finish. That's all. That last uh, explosion into big hit was like guaranteed death for me unless someone healed me. And even then, I might still have died, honestly. Thank you for joining Nixel, as I assume that was you leaving leaving and hopefully not just your internet going down. Hope you enjoyed the hunts. Kicked. Oh, Citra booted you. It likes to do that. Tiny Diablos. Yeah, he's a bit of a small boy. This is truly the best time to leave. Fair enough. You don't have to do the Apex Diablos. <laughs> Bit of a bummer that I didn't get a lot of time on this one, but hey, it happens. Earplugs mounts. Good luck with this horrible hunt. You're going chill. Thanks. All I've got left to do is horrible hunts. So I need all the luck in the world there. Yeah, that is different noise. Is it possible to solo Gog with Sword and Shield? Yes. Someone has soloed Gog with a Kinsei. As their only means of damage.
You can definitely do it with just Sword and Shield. You might need some, like, actually relatively good skills. And you will need the dense mark hole as well. Okay, they do have wise stones. Mountain here. Got it though, well done. Uh, block it, good. Just missed me, that works. Very good that we got him out of Apex there. Was it you said about skills to kill Gog? You'll need good skills. You will need skills that are good and work for you. You have them on your armor like Brit Element. It's probably a good idea to get, like, just elemental damage up as well. Earplugs is really nice to have. And then also just make sure you've done the side quest to get Dense Marco. Which is an item. I soloed it with dual blades. Uh, I think it was about 38 minutes or something. I can't remember. The monitor is good, but not entirely needed. Yeah, but like healing is good, but it's not entirely needed to me. It's, it's that level of advice, like someone who's never done the fight before. You're not going to tell them, like, yeah, just piss away this giant amount of damage, right? <laughs> That's just a bad piece of advice to give to someone who's never done it. someone who's done it a few times like me and you at this point like we could do it without a demolisher on my first attempt where i soloed him i f i think i only did it because i had the demolisher what is that item you need which quest you need can't tell you the second bit dense marco is the item it's what allows you to fire the demolisher the big cannon. It does like a ludicrously large amount of damage. And also makes proof of the hero play. So the entire side quest is quite an endeavor to complete. It is. Would it be faster than getting the Marco than just smash your head into Gog? I, I genuinely don't think I ever would have beat him if I didn't have it, though. Because knowing that you have such a massive chunk of damage in your pocket at any point is such a huge mental boost. Also, proof of the hero. Just, you know, it's proof of the hero.
probably attempted GOG like 15 times in my life before I actually won on the one that I did on stream. Even with the Marco, and I just could never do him. This quest wasn't that bad. Nope. Wasn't actually. You got a gem? Oh, what a large Zenith Wyvern gem? Yeah, the the stronger Apexes have better chances, right? Diablos is one of the strongest. Is this quest man? It's just not showing up for me. I really, really want to get one of the two of these. gonna be so much nicer. We just have a dead Diablast heart. Out the way, done with, finished. Instead of still needing two of them. it is exhausting. Do you yesterday? What did I say? <laughs> I think I should have switched weapon, but I'll do it next quest. The amount of potions I expect you to make maybe write it. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't want to make that many. I was just doing it while I had a little bit of time because I know I needed some. What you need to complete to unlock Stents Marco? In the Wyceum? Are the four Wyporium improvement quests? And the villager requests that they also unlock. That's not that bad. Although the last one of those is the horrible one, right? That one is that bad. The, um... Raging Bracky. Yeah, Lab Partners, that's it. The other three aren't that bad. They're, they're tough, but they're pretty doable. Lab Partners sucks. <laughs> Lab Partners sucks.
Don't know why I'm trying to hit that with an upswing on the tail at that point. Was not going to work. Should be incredibly close to a mount. Shit. Good. That sucks. Not this again. Not again. Molten sees you, so he screams. Yeah, it feels like it. Just wants to tell me, it's like, that he wants me dead. Because I already know that. He doesn't need to tell me. I got the message. <laughs> but he roared me to death last time. Blast hearts are the... The Dire Blast hearts are literally the only drop that I care about. Now. I've got everything else. Thank fuck for that. I dodged that? Nice. <laughs> How? Evasion plus one? You wonderful bastard, you. Uh. That's gonna hit me though. Seriously? Also, why'd the blast cloud go straight through me? Evasion plus makes miracles happen? Apparently so. Then it's always the ones that you don't think are going to hit you that do. Can't help Sagando any more than that. Another hit's just death. Just try and keep Tiggy away from him. Nice. Invasion plus three, you can't roll through Kezu Roar. I mean, Kezu Roar's too long, right? I think it's the issue. It's that it lingers. I would assume the same thing is true with Diablos Roar. Just please stop running. Because that sucker lingers forever as well. Kezu Roar and Evasion plus Freelance. Test it. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't understand how Evasion Lance works, so... Because my understanding was that every time you stopped, you would, in theory, be vulnerable for, like, a frame. But I've been told contrary to that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Because that would mean that your iframes are actually longer than your jumps are. That's just weird. Is you more invincibility frames to the side or the back hubs? You can chain them together. 
That's so dumb. <laughs> How did that ever happen? You're invincible when you're not even dodging. That's why it don't make any sense to me, because it doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Sorry, you it's fine, you got cornered. It's molten. It's molten. I was gonna say more than that, but yeah, it's molten. from you. He's been particularly relentless this quest, so I'm not surprised that one of us made a mistake. He's been charging a lot. He normally does a lot more roaring. I feel. Tiny hits. This weapon does not have good roll damage. So much of its damage is in fire. Which is why I still haven't got this tail cut yet. Zenogo was the one up next. It does have a lot better roar. Which is nice. That's not gonna hit his tail. Oh, it did actually. Nice. Oh, perfect. Get it on the way back. Nice. Still not off. Huh? I know fire probably does zero, but... His tail? His tail's relatively quick. There we go. Thank you. In terms of drops, I just need the face break. In terms of making the fight easier, both arms. Would be lovely. This arm is already broken. Oh, claw. Oh, both claws are already done, actually, aren't they? No, that one is still... His right claw is still acceptable. Acceptable? It's still unbroken. Is it? No, it is broken. The middle bit's fine. I think I might be dead here. Yep. Shouldn't have tried to block. Should have just gone for dodges straight up. Blocking is silly against him. Because he just charges more times than you can do it without guards. And he's tough. I'm going to get in the area just so that the Sagando has a secondary target <laughs> other than just him. Do not want that much attention when you're playing Heavy Bogan. I think I dodged the damage. I don't know if it would have hit me, but... I'm gonna say I dodged the damage. 
Because it has some range. Jesus. Please. You gotta stop. Or at the very least, you gotta do it for long enough that you fall over. Which seems to be what's gonna happen this time. Good. I just want the face break, but I'm so scared to go to the fucking head. Especially when he's being that relentless, that's just annoying. Thank you, Ledge. Come on, Molten. There's the double enrage, so he's nearly dead. Near instantaneous double enrage. Hedges? You gotta marry them? What? Fuck for that. Gotta marry them. Oh my. They screw you at least 30% of the time. <laughs> That's where your red egg ring belongs. <laughs> Uh, the break. Dropped a shiny. Where was it? It was there. Go. Cool. I need the chance. I don't have any life powders left. Unfortunately. One, two, three. Please. Shit. Let's hit me. Thank you. <sighs> this quest is always so damn tense. away from me. I can't try and go for another mount. It's just not going to happen. Too close to the one that I just got. It's annoying that he didn't do the fall over one again. Cicado's in a really bad spot there. Shit. Come after me, please. No, that's really good. Really lucky that you rolled. Get a good flinch as well. Good timing. Okay, wonderful. Insta enrage. Insta rage too. He's got to be on the fucking precipice of death. Come on. Slaps. 
Slabs aren't my best source of damage, but hey, they work. Well done, Sagando. Well done. I think that's the toughest one we've had. Jesus. Nothing from the calves. I already got it. Blast Claw and a Lash and a Wyvern Tear. Two shinies and the tail. And then the four calves from him. It's the sad thing when all you need is... What you call it? Dire Blast Heart, his rare drop. A lot of these quests are going to go and be quote-unquote pointless. Like this one. Hunter rank 168. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Your quests again, though? Zenoga. Which is this weapon? From today, even. I'm doing requests from today. Neat. The fact that the insect glaive just got switched to makes me think that we might be doing a fatalis of some sort. Just gives me the inkling. Folded up great sword looks like jewel blades. It does sometimes, yeah. Hello, Cobro, by the way. Ugh, nice to see you in here. Thank you. Thank you, but I've surpassed my hunter rank on my main save, actually. Yeah, I definitely do not. I'm pretty damn sure you have to unlock it, so. I know you already asked Cobra, but I thought I'd have a look. I should be getting close. Age text wise. I only got a few left. What did I say? I think you're above Hunter rank wise, my main say, aren't you? Now? I can't remember if it ended on 420 or if it ended somewhere else. by the um, progress here, to be honest. How damn slow it's been. Not got a lot of stuff I need today. At least one you have? It's Mr. Hugster, right? That's my main one.
Oh wait, I shouldn't take two lots of stuff. There's more of us now. <laughs> oh, bonk. One hour of drawing every day and two hours on the weekend. That's enough for 96 poses this week. Is that a good way to think about that, Edgy? Why not? Because you're forcing yourself into a an unnecessary like deadline which might work for you if that's like if you thrive under pressure or whatever but it might also make you sloppy because you're too busy just trying to get the poses done rather than trying to make them look natural make them look human You've got to be careful putting boundaries on yourself like that especially if you're learning Because you might struggle with making one look right, and then it doesn't take just like half an hour or whatever, right? It takes maybe like two hours to do one pose. Because you, even if you can't make it, not trying to make it detailed, but it just like doesn't look right however you do it, right? My wife's stone did not get to be much there. So I got yeeted twice. If it works for you, it's fine. Nice one. I am also someone who likes to like think about stuff in that way. And I... <laughs> Not quite often, but relatively frequently leave myself with a bit disappointed because I'm like, well, I did this in this time before, so I should be able to do these in this time. Which means I can do this much and then it doesn't happen. And I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> but I didn't get the stuff done that I needed to get done. Not with drawing, obviously, in my case, but with like goals for stuff that happens. Hey, you crimmy. How are you, Dylan? I think I, I might just slap him there. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. Large 
Merci. We can do a U quest, Kamaro, if you want to post one. Oh, you just wanted to do Raging Brachidios, Kirin, or Oroshi, though, right? At least that's how it was yesterday. You need to get back to 4U, Kirby. It's a good bloody game. I would recommend it. Or chaos. Oh yeah, you needed contraries as well. You're not bound by a contract thing. You're explicitly right. A poem when you feel like it. We also have another English one, another idea for an English one. Nice. Normal behavior, reasonable talk. <laughs> Are you struggling, Ayn? By any chance? I do not have the chaos stuff I need yet, Comrade. No, I still need contrary. This is the best quest to farm Elstones, or you're just lucky. One of the two. We did a craft all insect lives run. It's actually a nightmare because of the insect leveling. Yup. There was actually one of those in the list for for you, but I remembered in time about the what do you call it the, the the insects the kinsects and i just went nope nope no 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 we can't do that one no 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 well yes but you struggled with the enchain demo it's a first person shooter slash platformer neat and you're bad at first person shoots. <laughs> it happens. All insect legs would be kind of a kind of a nightmare. Fun early game because you had to learn to do most of low high rank with minimum speed. Uh, no, no. the screws even some more to spare <laughs> got spare screws oh dude hand out the screws i need some <laughs> so that was it you started up for you nice have fun got to the uh first mayhem you might call it boss composed of a few enemy waves within an hour Nice. Doesn't seem like you're doing particularly bad then. <laughs> Roughly two thirds will try to successfully platform. Platforming is always the hardest bit. <laughs> Big chunky tail here. Wall jump is in the game. Ooh. Let's go. Cool. 
Just the tail. Pomro needs arms, so I will try and break his little poundies next. Because this is Komaro's quest. Just cut the tail off because it makes the fucking fight easier. <laughs> it also is helpful. For me. How are you supposed to swing the camera fast enough without leaping into the abyss? Trust? Or like, speed cam? You can turn your DPI up, right? Your mouse? Can you let us, like, get in here at some point? Oh. Speed isn't the exact problem. It's more of overturning and then suddenly jumping cliffside instead of the two opposed walls. That's just practice, though, right? You're not going to pick up the entire movement system in an hour. You just got to get used to that one. Nice subquest rewards. Somehow that horn always being incredibly easy to break. Try and go for this fist. You feel draped. Not standing in a good spot. Oh shit. I think I overcharged that by accident. I got distracted by watching all of Cobro's bullets fly into the monster. Shit. Animation for slicing bullets is just really weird. Overcharged again? What am I doing? Large Wyvern tier? Not particularly helpful. Can we not do this? I've had nearly a thousand hours of Greatsword in this game, buddy. Body and brain. Can we play like a competent human being, please? Would be absolutely marvellous. Oh. All the way over there. Been during G2 while still having four pieces of high rank armor. Sounds about right. I think I did the same on my first time through. <laughs> There's no good armor in G1, that's why. You look through all the G1 armors and you're like, man, I should really get to G2. <laughs> oh, 
What better armor than this? I think I might have done that this time around as well. There's nothing you want in G2, really? Wow. What armor do you want? You happen to know? They've been too long that you don't remember. Been too long, fair. Not even like Garuga or something? Just generically good skills? Search is G3, damn, I don't want anything here. <laughs> Frontier Brave. Hello, Skullbot. Welcome. 14 left. Yep. I think at this point it's 12. Not sure. Frontier Brave says evasion plus one. I'll be fine. <laughs> True. G1 armors are kind of like luster, yeah. They're, they're mostly, it feels like they're there just for the defense value. But that's why a lot of people get Berserk Tetsu, right? Because it gives you even more armor as well. Circus for easy earplugs with free defense. Ah, that's it. Something you get from Bob's over Gog. <laughs> the frickin' Amatsu armor. Ugh. It's good for evasion. Very good for the evasion. Wouldn't be surprised if this guy's dying soon. I'm a Ranger Bracky. Give it up for us. Oh shit. <laughs> Not that way. Back when Iceborne launched, you look at BO armor and was like, yep, two of those, please. Yeah. <laughs> the armor pop from. Even like honed or augmented high rank armor to Iceborne armor was massive. Hey, you Falco, welcome. How you doing? Ugh. Earplugs, that's the only reason. Oh, yeah, Bio has earplugs. He's actually got good earplugs as well, right? His armor overall like isn't fantastic, but that saves it. Does he get four points? Four or five points? Hermitage is good for okay for guarding weapons. Yeah, yeah. It's always nice to get some guard up and some guard. Two pieces give four points of airplugs. That's very good. And then it's relatively easy just to slot one more in. Ugh. That is bad rewards. We well, grinded base world to death. Yeah, I've got lots of echoes. <laughs> Let's get a, a one more in. Just gonna do this. Fuck it. I feel like it. I should do the, the Rage and Brickadios because I have it available, but fuck it. 
want to get one. I just want to get one. And I feel like I'm actually making progress on it. I feel like I'm just pissing into the wind at this point. With weapons. With the way today's gone so far. Thankfully with world I won't be pissing into the wind. I got a lot to farm. Good world. I'm really looking forward to Celeste tomorrow. <laughs> no, I do not. I remember talking about them, Eugene. I don't remember them in of themselves. I remember thinking they were weird. Wait, Celeste? Yep. Mandy's a Celeste. two people anymore. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Habit is hard to break, apparently. Taking the company car? What well, the idea of an English phone pops your head? Every verse is one of those is steering the car or saying. Could be the word family or the word theme. Full word theme, right. It's kind of an interesting way to do it. Head, break, and tail cut, please. The only things I really need. I mean, shiny drops as well, technically, but like. Can't really force those to happen in the same way. Nope. That did hit his head. Thus worked exactly as it should have. No! I lived. I actually thought that was going to kill me. I can't remember if you take more damage while you're in the air, but my brain screamed it at that moment. It's whispering that's going to hit the hand. What's that's going to hit the hand? It's not a phrase. It sounds like a phrase, but it's not what I've heard before. Should only be like one more. So now if she just say something uncryptic, okay? <laughs> Impossible, you do. You are pure cryptology.
That was not intentional, but man, that was nice. That's a good way to get a head break. Right there. Yeah. That won't hit me, but it will stun me. Same with this one. This will hit me. Oh, never mind. Cover is gone. Thank you for saving my butt. <laughs> Too great. Oh, I love that mount. It's so dumb. Oh, that claw's already broken. This one isn't. So the claws just break without me even realizing they've been attacked. So Gando must have been attacking the claws. Only really pay attention to people's positioning, not to like where the arrows are landing. He got up really quickly from that one. still on. Um. That sucks. Dark cuts are hard on Mom and Tiggy, are they? Feels like they've been relatively consistent. Maybe it's because I've been going for the tail first rather than for the head first. Sever it now. Unfortunately, they don't let me do that. For some reason. Just... Give it a cut. I don't need the full break. The arms are completely irrelevant. For me... I just attacked it that one time because I couldn't get to the leg in time. No! Another one that's pointless. Shame. Oh, well. Oh, well. Sub five, yep, I expected that. That is going to be for you done for today. There's still six hours of the stream left, but I am gonna go and take a brief little break before I switch on over to Monster Hunter World. I will be going straight into multiplayer in world. If you want to join low rank multiplayer. Um, any gear up to and including Legiana is absolutely fine. I will be back in just a moment. Thank you both for hunting with me, Comro, Sagando. Appreciate it. See you in just a second. 